we're in Colombia. Girls trip for Rouse V Day starting soon. Well, starting now. Hola. Buenos dias. Can you can you not? Buenos dias. Can you not? What did they say? Habla español. Uh, poquito. <laughs> can she not? First of all, the man asked me I speak español, so I was like, eh, poquito. And then you know, we had a little conversation. What conversation did I have? He told me the things and said. She's so full of it, yo. Good conversation. We're currently staying at the Intercontinental IHG Hotel. Yo, smack it. We made it to the hotel room. This is how the bathroom looks like. It looks really, really good. This is the shower. And the bathroom is also in its own little area, which we love. And then we have closet space right here. Two robes, some hangers, and this is our view. Really nice. But yeah, Cheryl said that we have to leave because she wants to make us our gifts, so. So ladies, I have gifts for you guys. One, two, three. Oh, this is cute. Ooh. Open the bags, girl. Okay. It has our names on it. Look, Amina. My picture is in the camera. What? Amina and this is happy birthday, Shiro. Oh, the itinerary. So I'm at your asylum. Maybe you guys have itineraries. Sleeping mask. Cause Shiro, one thing Shiro does, she sleeps. Yes. Mask. Yes, I like this. That's a nice one. I like this. Mm -hmm. On my face. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is nice. And then I got like some little eye things for our little PJ night. Like, you know, or whatever you want to use. That's a little cover iPad. This is nice. Did you get purple? Purple? Um, the purple headband? I got like a mixed color one. Okay. I really like this bag. Because I can carry this bag everywhere. Yes, yeah, so it was going to be name bags, but yeah. Thank you so much, Ralph. Mm -hmm. Cheryl had us in the room for a good hour because she decided to not try on her clothes so what is it? before I, I, leaving. I, I, Girl, don't talk about me on your little your little camera. It's not little, sweetie. It's kind of big. What's kinda, big, sweetie? It's kind of massive. Yeah. I'm in my Chanel bag. Come on, you get in my pores. Don't do that. She's mad because I ordered my stuff to a you're different right. apartment. Fuzzy my pores. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, you're right. <laughs> so. I ordered my clothes to a different location, so I had to try my clothes on here, and she got mad. She I had the she had a she had the clothes since last night. She could have tried the clothes on. She did not care that we were hungry, that we were famished. In fact, almost starved. We first of dehydrated because the freaking airplane did not give us water. She didn't care. Hola, hi. Um, can we get a table for three? Thank you. We're at a restaurant. It's called Kanu Restaurante. Also, I think I've realized that I'm entering my old lady era because I dead be ordering soups when I go out to eat. Mm, it's a nice soup. Yes. Salad. No, not even a salad, just soup. I, like I really like salads like that. I really do like soup. It's actually very good. This is our food. I have the risotto. She has the ravioli. What did you get, Maria? Salmon and what? <laughs> our food is here. Look at what the hotel brought Sherelle, y'all. Feliz cumpleaños. 23, big mother. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it's been a while. Like, literally, I think the whole day. Let me... Okay. Let me update y'all basically what happened. So, after we had lunch, we went back upstairs, changed into some suits. Mine and I went and turned a bit by the pool. Shroud stayed up and slept. We all slept at the end of the day, but yeah. And then after that, we got ready for dinner. But it's neon night. It's currently like 10.30 probably. And we finished taking pictures and everything. I had a different outfit on. If you guys we see... We TikToks. Follow me on the clock app. Yeah, we made a lot of TikToks. I'm hungry now getting a little tired that's really the update now we're just trying to figure out where we're gonna go eat we have two options we just don't know where we're gonna go yet um and yeah i'll keep you guys updated we have an early morning tomorrow we have to be what time we have to be out of here hey, but yeah we gotta be out of here by seven something in the morning we have an early morning <laughs> Good morning, good 
morning. It's the next morning, 7 a.m. This is my outfit. Express H&M, Marnie, ASOS. Oh, Express as well. So I have our mask in. Yes. So we made it to the port. Literally, this is our car that we just left out of. And they said that we have to walk to Bora Bora, and Bora Bora is over here. We're at the port right now. Hopefully, the boat don't leave us. <laughs> We're like three minutes behind. Currently getting some arepas. I got a chicken arepa. I'm gonna try it with Cheval. And it's right in front of the beach club too, so. Cool. This is Amina trying a chicken arepa. Is it? Scale of 1 to 10. Sauce. Needs the, the ketchup mayo. It has sauces over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did it look like? Ooh, it looks good. Okay. Yeah. It needs some sauce. I'm gonna try to You wanna try it? Sure. Yeah, before I probably buy one. I'm coming in. Mmm. Mmm. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right? We made it in the line, you guys. Okay. The boat is here. We're currently waiting online to get on it. It's kind of small. For all these people, it's kind of small. But they might do it in sections, to be honest. We're on the boat. I didn't even show you guys. Birthday girl. Birthday girl. Birthday girl. Maya's all the way back there simply. Yeah, we're on our way to Bora Bora. Sorry, I've been out of touch. You said I'd be out of town so much. Try it all with my best speak. I'm probably saying when you see me on the TV, I can tell that. I'm just playing cards, I was tell back. But I got models in the sprinter. I can't buy you happiness if you ain't got it. Move you to a place, still ain't what you wanted. No new face, still not low and let it. Y'all, this proof is so good. So fresh, and the yogurt is really good as well. I wanted something light, because we have lunch Thank in the field. Please tell me why I ended up taking like one of the best naps of the day. Like I literally just laid out and took a nap. My and Cheryl tried out some oysters, and part of me really wanted to go try it, but I was just so tired and my head was hurting. And I was kind of scared because it was raw, like the guy just caught it, and I was like, oh damn. You know, like I don't want nothing to happen to me. You know what I'm saying? But um what is this but i'm gonna get up now to go to the beach to go meet up with them i'm waiting for the food it's been a while and the food still has not come out like we've been here for hours at this point and who doesn't come out yet? we're at lunch finally and i guess i get why it took so long because they took everyone's order as soon as we got here and everything was like made fresh but then it's like how you know nobody's food is cold? Cause like somebody's food has to be done first. Right, the first for the exactly. first batch. Mm -hmm. Somebody's food has to be done first. So how is that not cold? Microwave the three times. I'm on the magic. I'm on magic. Okay, guys, I am checking in. I tried oysters for the first time, y'all. Me and Maya, we have about 18 of them things. Is that right? Good? Yes, bro. We aphrodisiac out. Take that out of that. No. Y'all sound horny as hell. <laughs> Listen, I'm tall already. Me in school. This one was sitting there like, she gonna say, oh, and she just stuck that she a freak. Do you mean to remember last name? No, please. <laughs> please. Yeah. Hold on. These two girls are getting a deaky. This no girl go to bed. Not. She had a nighty Go to bed with a nighty, nice and fitted, nice little robe to match, hair all bunned up, slicked back. I'm like, ah, oh, what do you mean on cute for? Come over here, girl. <laughs> Hey, you look good, sis. Food looks so good. Look at this. It looks amazing. That rice looks really well done. I'm crying. Her with the sash and all. Maya and I both got chicken. And yeah, we gotta dig in. The wait was definitely well worth it. Like, what? I'm trying to cook dough for the first time. Just for the flavor. Mm Y'all, I kind of look tan. We're gonna go up to the room, get showered, relax a bit, and then get ready for Chevelle's birthday dinner. You guys, we're out at dinner, we're at Morena. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, wait, there's actually a birthday. Oh, happy birthday. The drinks are here. We all got three leeches martinis. I'm still taking Chevelle's pictures. But yeah, we're at this restaurant called Morena. They were playing live music. The band just finished because they're about to close soon. And it's so beautiful, like, 
so beautiful. The food is here. I got the seafood casserole something. I put the exact name on the screen, but it looks so good. And apparently Cartagena is really known for their seafood. So I've been trying to get a lot of seafood. Got a lychee martini. And Cheryl got an aphrodisiac pasta. Maya got some tacos. And it's time for us to dig in. Oh, this is good. morning you guys it is the next morning it is currently at 703 I just realized I have not been the most consistent with vlogging so I'm gonna try to run you guys down just a bit as much as I can by the way I'm at breakfast the girls are still just getting ready basically always did yesterday was go to Bora Bora Beach Club it's an hour boat ride away I didn't know it was an hour away honestly I didn't really read the itinerary but it's not bad it's actually it goes by pretty fast we just at Bora Bora just chilling it was a really really nice beach club I definitely do recommend it if you are coming to Cartagena it's a really nice beach club this omelet is so good and at the board where we came home, we relaxed a bit at the Shirelles making for our birthday. And then we went to this restaurant called Morena. I was trying so hard to vlog there, but they had live music. And then when the live band was done, um, they had regular music playing. And we were like the last few there. A really nice restaurant. Um, it was like two minutes away from our hotel. We honestly could have walked there, but since we all had heels on, we was like, nah, let's just like an Uber. And after that, Shirelle was tired, so we didn't end up going out. So we just called it a night early because she has not been sleeping at all. Like she'll probably get like a 30 minute nap and then wake back up. Meanwhile, Maya and I are sleeping for like hours on it. So we're fully rested and stuff. But tonight we're definitely going out. Also, it's because of the fact that we also have a lot of early morning. Like yesterday we had Board Warrior Beach Club, so we have to get up at like 6.45. Today we have Rosario Island and we have to be there by 7.45. So we don't want to risk missing anything. So that's really why we haven't been going out that much. But baby, tomorrow we don't have nothing planned as well as Monday. So we're going to be out for the rest of the weekend, okay? That's really it. And I'm really just eating breakfast right now. My outfit today is super duper cute. Honestly, when I packed last minute, I thought I forgot some stuff. But no, this is actually a sarong from PLT. I put this wrong over my shoulder just because I'm eating breakfast and I didn't just want to have, you know, the girls roll out and stuff like that. So this is from PLT, PLT, ASOS. And then these earrings, I believe, are either PLT or AliExpress. I'm leaning towards AliExpress though. I can't remember. I actually run you guys down the itinerary because I never get the chance to do so. Today we're gonna go to Rosaria Island. It's a boat tour. And then we're gonna go relax after the boat tour. We can shop and stuff like that. And then we have dinner at 8 p.m. Today is Renaissance Night. It's like a silver night. Cheryl literally has themes on this birthday trip and I love it so much. Night one was neon night. Tonight, I think, is the actual competition. We have um, Renaissance Night. I don't know if I'm gonna win just because of the fact that my Renaissance outfit isn't silver, it's gold. So I don't know. But tonight, and also I'm missing the shoes. The shoes that I was initially gonna wear, it didn't come in time, so. And then after that, we're supposed to be going on a party bus tour. We saw the party buses as we were like sitting outside and like at restaurants and stuff like that. And we're just like, no shade, it kind of looks corny. <laughs> we're like, it kind of looks corny. So we don't know if we're gonna be doing that. No shade to anybody that's, you know, been on a party bus or booked a party bus tour. But we just like, oh, we might as well just go to a club. Don't get me wrong, it looked like people were having fun. I'm actually gonna bring this camera today. Hopefully nothing happens to it. Because I hate vlogging, I just have an X now. You guys know I like the wide angle. Seeing, and it's gonna even get even wider, I forgot. Like, come on. I like the wide angle scene because I feel like you guys are really here. When it's so cropped in, I don't feel like you guys can really feel like you're here with me. Does that make sense? So, I'm bringing this bag Cheryl gave us um, when she gave us our gifts and stuff like that because it's the only bag that can really fit this camera. Um, none of my other bags will fit this camera, so I'm just like, okay, let me bring this. That's the update. I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna finish eating my food. I think we gotta leave here by like 7 15, 7 20. So I have five minutes left to finish eating. I will talk to y'all later. Guys, we're in the car now. We're going to another port and then we're headed to Rosario Island. Also, I wanna know a lot of the cars in Cartagena or Colombia are very narrow. So for the past few days, we've been squished up, but this is probably the most spacious that we've been in, especially last night when we were coming back home from Morena, the car was spacious, but all the other cars are very, very cramped. Um, and yeah, also when you're out here, deal with Uber, don't deal with these actual cab drivers because they will try to rob you, like literally try to rob you. And I didn't even tell you guys the story from yesterday, but basically this guy tells us after- trying to get me for extra- 17. 17,000. You know how to do that. 
so, 13 to 30. Exactly. So when we got back from Bora Bora, um, the Uber, I tried to order Uber. Uber was like, oh, there's no cars available. Cool, whatever. He comes up to us like, oh, yeah, um, where are you guys going? Da -da -da -da. I said, we're going to IHG. How much is that? He said, 13. I said, okay, 13, because that's how much it was on Uber. So then we pull up. Maya has, I think, what, 14 or 15 exact? $14. Like, she didn't she didn't have that much money left. None of us had that much money left because we were spending money at um, Bora Bora. She had 14, so it was like 13 is perfect. And then this guy pulls, oh, I said 30. I said, no, you didn't. And I'm like, 30? My yeah, dress three I'm times the price. Even argue with this man. So I'm the one arguing. I'm like, you're wrong. You're wrong. The person that I think was the bellhop or anything, mm -hmm. he was he was holding on. He was like, "How was this a thirty dollar ride?" And then we ended up leaving, not leaving, but we ended up giving him thirteen dollars. No, he had fourteen. He actually came up on us. Yeah, he came up on us. We gave him the fourteen dollars, and he did because he knew what he was doing was crazy. Like, how you want to sit here and say from thirteen to thirty? Mind you, the ride is five minutes. Five minutes from this port to. Tell people how much stuff it costs. You know how we get? Nah, I pay. Nah, I pay eight. <laughs> no, That's seriously. He ain't nobody from New York. Y'all know in New York. And, and you know what's crazy? When I showed the price on Uber, he had the nerve to be like, oh, Uber and taxi are different. And if that's the case, I won't be picking up a taxi. Simple. Uh, Uber price was literally 13000 and like 55 uh, Just deal with the Ubers because these taxi drivers will try to rob you. They really will. And I'm all for supporting local businesses, but I don't like when people like to take advantage of people. So, we don't support yeah. support local robbery. Gracias. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. gracias. Buenos dias. We're here, y'all. We're at the port. Beautiful. Gracias. Say hi, ladies. And we're all in color theme, y'all. We've been in theme this whole trip, and y'all might think that we planned it, but we didn't. We're not corny like that. We planned a few nights, <laughs> but not even like to match. But we literally had a few themes. But right now, we look like we're all trying to be color coordinated and or of course, on some type of theme. I'm Beyonce. Okay. So tonight, guys, we have a very special night. I can't wait till you guys see this. I want you guys to be the judge. And whoever wins, wins. And that's who will get the free drink. Okay? I'm basically a sugar daddy. Okay. Okay. You guys are on the boat. And it's so hot. I'm literally sweating. How are you? It's so hot. But yeah, we're on the boat on our way to Rosario Island. And it's like small little boats. I thought it was going to be like one big catamaran. And I'm glad that it isn't. Because it's like it's more intimate. Okay? I actually enjoy that. There are Bomba Island, uh, there are four towns, Boca Chica, Caño del Oro, Punta Arena, and Tierra Bomba. There is another entrance to the bay, the north side of the island coach, La Boca Grande, in English, the Big Mouth. At the colonial time, as another entrance was broke because the Spanish people beat a water under the water. It was beat more than 250 years ago. For that reason, the English ship had to turn it and had to cruise this small strait. They named the small strait called Boca Chica, a small mouth. And for that reason, the Spanish built those military forts. The military fort to the right called uh, San Fernando and another San Jose. There is another military fort at the middle of the island. It's in a hill. Yeah. He communicates with San Fernando with a small tuner. It has a one kilometer. In order to the Spanish escape, if the English get to cut this military fort. Yeah. And my group before we used to to do a thought at the dock so that you take pictures there but now it's not possible because local village are demanding that you pay uh, 30 or 50 thousand pesos okay the next place we're gonna visit will be archipelago de rosario island where you are gonna do snorkeling and we're gonna visit a private beach Alright girls, they're jumping in. 
Ready? One, two, three! Ah! Bye, girls! Ah! Swim, swim away, my little fishy. Swim, swim. Look at the girls go. Look at them go. So, this is the island, y'all. Hyper Island is swimming. This is amazing. Wave to the camera, girlies. Hi, girls. I see you, girl. You swimming like a little mermaid. So, this is the water, y'all. It looks so beautiful. So nice. He's making pineapples and coconut. I don't want that. But this is cute. Look at Amina go. All the way over there. You guys see that? All the way over there. So I'm gonna show you guys the island. There's other boats here. Everyone's swimming, having fun. Oh look, Michael Phelps. Wow. No life jacket. Wow. He's Michael Phelps. He's like that man, that black boy. I know y'all all seen that video of the chairs. Like that man that be swimming in the water. Who swim in the water to swim to the fight? Yeah. That's how he is. Look at Amina swimming. Look at her. Go, little mermaid. Go. Look at her. Yeah, see her? She looks so good. Love it. I am not swimming i swim but like oceans i don't do um i don't like snorkeling so i don't usually snorkel when we do snorkeling stuff um so i'm not gonna do it but i am gonna get in the water at some point just not snorkeling maya say hi to my vlog look at little mermaid back there go ariel why if she helped her swim look at her look at michael phelps she's a paid actor all right Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Peace sign girls. Look at Amina. She took her life vest off. That girl could swim, child. She could swim. Uh-huh. I see you, girl. All right, Maya, do a little backstroke for me. All right. Okay. That's Jean and them. Yeah. So Maya's an adventurous type. She's about to jump off backwards. Three, two, bye. <laughs> guys we just finished snorkeling Cheryl did an amazing job at getting footage my how was it 10 out of 10 it's 10 out of 10 we're on our way to our second spot I believe and yeah okay my girl this is the, the destination the Portela Beach uh, there we are gonna be about 45 minutes or one hour uh, later gonna we are gonna receive your limonade you can use you can use the the practice on chair to the left. We made it to an island, you guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me because my mic is on the other side. But yeah, we're gonna chill and relax a bit. And yeah, it's called La Co Cotaria. Hola. Hola. Are we good to the bed? Yeah. Oh no, these are dogs. You guys made to La Cocotera. It's a little island that's a part of the tour. I'm currently just sitting and laying. I don't want to go back in the ocean. Cheryl and Maya, I think, are going into the water. I just came back. And the salt water ties you out. So I just want to relax a bit. The sun really isn't out. Really, we're just here just to chill a bit, I guess. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is one of two islands that we're going to go and visit today. I'm not too sure. We're eating on one island and then we're drinking on one island. This is like the drinking island. Well, it's not really drinking. It's just more so a free lemonade. But yeah, y'all. We just finished um, spending some time at the beach. Honestly, it was nothing spectacular. All we did was just sit for a bit and then 45 minutes later it was time for us to get back on the boat but i think we're going to like a party destination and oh, we're going to be partying so in the sorry. water also some man offered maya some lobster crab. maya took a, a crab mm -hmm. oh sorry mm -hmm. crab maya took the leg i took a leg right i gave maya my leg because i didn't like she about to come monster claw, claw. I, i'm gonna put, put the picture and what about it the thing is, that's literally after she finished eating it. I was a, that was like, it's more. Look at all them shells. Look at, look at the them. shells in her hand. The guy offered some. You take a leg. She took a whole claw. Give people an inch and they take a mile. What's the name of this island again, Cheryl? Shalom. 
explain what it is. So this is Cholon Island. This is the party island. And yeah. Welcome to Cholon um, Party. Party lit. Maya and Cherelle are getting some oysters. They are in love since yesterday. How many are you getting, Maya? I'm getting 12. She's getting a dozen. Huh? I'll try one of yours. I don't want to buy my own because I don't think I'm a license. But they're getting oysters. But we're here, y'all. I'm vlogging on my phone because I don't want to get my camera wet. Like, literally, my bag is like this. But this is our boat right there. Okay. Y'all, so I'm trying oysters for the first time. I'm actually very scared. I mean, it's about to try it for the first time. I think they're so good. Wait. Maya, wait, how do so I eat what it? I do recommend for your first time, don't chew it. Just swallow it. And. I ain't know, I ain't you, you gonna taste more of the hot sauce in the living room. Okay, I'll come back. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Wait, okay, so wait. Okay, and I just. Just swallow it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Stop chewing it now. Can I eat anything to eat for the hot? <laughs> you like it? It's not bad. I like it. I feel like you taste more when you chew. So how do you taste when you chew? You still taste that hot sauce and like lime. But I think, um, I think you get a little more of the flavor. When I swallowed it first, I was like, mm, I don't really taste it either. Right, hey, look at the worm. It's Where? the worm. Oh, bitch. The parasite. In my stomach. Yeah, I'm good. If I survive after this, I am good. I'm crying. The only time I'll eat them is probably in a restaurant, if even that. If I survive after this. I just gotta inspect them now. It doesn't taste like anything because I just swallowed it. I just tasted hot sauce. I think you might like cooked ones better then. Yeah, I think I would, I would like a cooked oyster better. Yeah. Like, would I eat it the same way? I don't know. I never had cooked ones. I think I'll probably have to just eat that the same way. I think cooked oysters is just what I'm gonna need because, baby, my stomach is starting to tingle. The girls are loving their oysters. This is the little parasite right here. Did I see it right there, y'all? That shit was swimming all over. Y'all can't shoot it. And she's bodying it. Look at, look at the collection already. Like, come yeah. on. The girls are loving their oysters. I'm good. I'm good. For me, one pair only, I make it. We're at Mambo Beach or Mambo Beach. We left the little party area a while ago. And now I think this is where we're gonna be at for the rest of the time being. Mine sure I got their food already. Yes, thank you so much. This is mine. Thank you. That's breast snapper? No. I'm When they said vegetables, they did not want to skimp out. It's mad mushrooms. vegetables in here. Mushrooms is insane, actually. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a typical peas, carrots. It's not bad, though. You guys, we ordered some drinks. I picked up, I still picked up. I ordered a pina colada, and I actually came in a pineapple, which is cute. So I said, thank you so much, and I got my food to go. Because it was a lot, a lot of rice, and I was full, so. Yeah, you guys, it's a few later. I don't know if I ever vlogged when I got to the, um, the island. Oh no, I did show you guys the food and stuff like that. After that, we really just sat down in the same spot because the island really didn't have much to offer. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, unless you walked around on the beach, took some pictures and stuff like that, that was really it. But it was really, you know, it was, we just sat there. I feel like we were just sitting there for like two hours. And I was doing much, and the music was shut off. I don't get why this is the longest one. Yeah, and the music was shut off for like. Yeah, the music was shut off for like 30 minutes at a time. Not really my favorite at all. 
Um, I'm just happy to go home, well, back to the hotel. It's about to rain, and I need everybody to get back on this boat so we can go back to the hotel because I'm not gonna get caught in the rain. Like, if only I heard the thunder, it's crazy. Literally crazy, but I'll talk to you guys once we get back into the hotel room. Because <laughs> we can get it. Because we can get it. Maya Tyson! Maya Tyson! Yeah. Now you're Maya Tyson! I'm George Foreman. Bye! And I won, bitch! Now Muhammad Ali! Oh, please. Undefeated. You can't be Ali. You couldn't even be Layla Ali. Nobody would want to be. I'm literally gagging. Go. Anyways, I'm Sherelle's Edge model. Today, also, earlier when she's gonna f it up, just giving you the heads up. Shut the f up! You might wanna excuse yourself now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this right now, one time only. I don't play with bitches, so if you want to back up, she ain't talking to me. Let me step forward. Let <laughs> step 30 steps back. I'm Sherelle's Edge model. I cut my little boho pieces of our box trays because they were gonna be tight and they were tangling. And I'm happy that I did it, but I can't do any other style but like this little high up pony. And I have to do my edges. So show us some edges for me. You know, Chris, you the edges for? Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at the edges. They're done. Thank you, Val. I just buy Val for never to go out. Mm -hmm. We're going to Boca Rica. Yes. Boca Rica. It's like two minutes away from our hotel. We were supposed to have like a whole different night. We're gonna have Renaissance night, the silver night. I told you guys that earlier, but it was raining and it's still like not the best weather. So like we don't want to waste like good good fits and like the weather's not good and we really can't stand outside or stay outside for too long. So Maya, come break the edges if you want to talk all that. Yeah. Shit. Come let's break see. the edges, hoe. Let's see what Maya says. Maya about the go edges. next. Y'all, we're walking to the restaurant. We're acting like locals. Um, one thing I will say, I will never eat raw oysters ever again. When I tell you I'm struggling right now, I am struggling right now. And Cheryl thinks that it's the most funniest thing ever. And no one seems to understand my pain. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And what I'm going through. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Cause Maya laughed too. Maya laughed too, why you calling me out? Oh. Maya. Who do you think you are? Like they think it's the funniest thing ever, and like I'm really struggling. Nothing but my okay? ass. about that? But we're, <laughs> we're walking to the restaurant now. It's right here, Boca Rica. Oh, it's a stoplight. Yes, uh, we will let you just. They got a Domino's too, bro. This is the first stop sign that we've ever seen since we've been here, and I had to point it out because we didn't think that they had any stop signs. <laughs> Like literally we drove everywhere and we never saw a stop sign. Wow. <laughs> Hola. Buenas. Guys, I got a Coco Walter and I got a Coco Lemonada. She had it earlier and she said that she really liked it. So I was like, you know what, let me try it. Cold oh, shoe. It's good. Oh wow, Sherelle. I can put me on for a drink. My food came or all of our food came. It looks really good. Last night, I don't think I got back on the camera. We had dinner at Boca Rica. We stayed a bit until closing, and then Sherelle had a headache, and so she wanted us to go home. So we could go out if we wanted to, but it's like, nah. Maya was like, "What's the point of us just going out and like you're in bed, like having a headache and stuff like that?" Don't get me wrong, some people dad would have left. But it's only three of us, and it's just like, nah, it's not that deep. And you guys already know, I was having my own little struggle because of those oysters. So I wasn't against anything, okay? Once they said, oh yeah, we gotta go back to the room, I was like, okay, let's go back to the room. Had it in my mind, I'm going to be going to sleep soon. And that's exactly what I did. I think I slept earlier than Sherelle. Once I get in the hotel room, and it's like, okay, yeah, it's time for me to go to sleep, I'm going to sleep. I don't know what it is, especially the eye mask that Sherelle purchased for us or gifted us. It gives me the perfect sleep. Like, I'm not straight out, straight out. But it's the next morning. We're gonna go to the Mud Volcano today. We don't have reservations for it. Chirag read that it's cheaper to book your tickets while you're there rather than booking it online. So we're gonna be just taking an Uber there and then booking our tickets there, basically. It looks very gloomy today. Yesterday it was raining a lot. So we're kind of concerned that like it might rain again today. And I hope it doesn't. But if it does, it is what it is. It's Mother Nature, but I would hope, I would just hope it doesn't. It's currently 7.53. I woke up at like 7. 
it tastes bad. When I tell you, do not eat oysters straight from the ocean. Just like, okay? The crazy thing is, it's only happening to me. My and Shirella are like, completely fine. Completely fine. This is the itinerary. I said, let me actually go into my phone and read it because I never know what the itinerary is. Then we're gonna do the Totomo Mud Volcano. And then we're gonna go and do like a relaxing beach day or whatever. And then tonight is our Shades of Melanin night. Oh wait, so are we not gonna do Renaissance anymore? But I don't think I haven't bought a nude outfit. So if anything, we could just do Renaissance tonight because like I said, Shira has a theme for almost every night. The only night that she didn't have a theme for was for her birthday. Um, and we still ended up coordinating in some way. But tonight was supposed to be Shades of Melanin night, basically the best nude shoes, nudes and stuff like that. But we might switch silver night to tonight. Today seems like a really relaxed, chill thing. So we're gonna probably end up clubbing today. You know, I don't wanna leave Colombia without saying, oh yeah, I didn't, you know, have some real real fun. You know, so so that's basically that. I think I already gave you guys like what I needed to say about the Rosara book tour. I don't think I'd book that again. Everything was just so long-winded. Like, it just felt like a long-winded tour. And I'm just like, when is this gonna be over? You know, like, when is it gonna be over? I don't wanna feel like that when I'm on a tour, but we would stay on some islands for like 45 minutes. I think the last island we stayed on was like three hours. And I'm just like, there's nothing for, here for us to do. We're literally just sitting down, not even in cabanas, because if you don't book VIP, you don't get a cabana. You just get like a little bench or like a little, I would say section. I mean, you can get up and explore, but the beach is also but so big. Chevron did get up and explore, and she took some pictures. I personally wouldn't book that tour again, but I feel like I wasted my whole day. If it was from like, maybe even nine to noon, that would have sufficed, but it was from like nine to three. I don't wanna say we did a whole bunch of nothing, because even the little party area that they told us about, where they said that this is a party island, it's not a party island. It's a bunch of sellers who gather together so tourists can spend money. It's not a party island. All the boats are playing their own music. Sellers are gathered together to make you buy stuff. Whether it's pearls, whether it's shisha, whether it's anything. So it's just like a big tour shop. I just wouldn't book that tour again and I don't recommend you guys booking that tour. I'll link Rosario if you still want to. I posted on Instagram how they had shisha in the water. Someone replied back like, please let me know what's that. Like I'm going for my birthday. I would love to try this. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I'll still link it for you guys, but I just felt like it was just a very long winded tour. And I probably, not probably, I wouldn't book it again. That's my little update for today. I'm eating breakfast. I don't think I even showed you guys my breakfast, but I had a croissant, some other pastry, scrambled eggs, a pancake. I did have mozzarella cheese on the eggs, but I didn't like how the cheese tasted, so I just removed it. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna continue eating. Like we're at the mall in our hotel. Um, we went because we had to come get some cash out. I already got the cash out, but I had to go to Bank of Columbia to get the cash out because the ATM in the mall wasn't working. So you have to go to an actual bigger branch to get cash out if you have like an American bank account. My the um, money exchange is right here, by the way. That your money exchange is right here. Maya's getting her money exchanged. Charlie and I don't need to because we're just taking money off the ATM. It was already exchanged for us. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging on my G7X because my other camera is just way too big for me to bring. And we're going to the Mud Volcano. She got her hair up in a bun because she said she's not getting it messed up. So at the airport, we got 3,400 back for every dollar. They're offering 3,650 for every dollar. I'll talk to you guys a bit later. We're going to El Tufumo. El Tufumo, she all, she all knows more, so she all let her El Tufumo, my volcano, so it has natural minerals, um, a lot of stuff. So the mud volcano is 15 feet high, but the depth of it and how deep it is, like 4.5, so we're not gonna sink. But yeah, but the stairs are apparently really rockety and rickety. I'm a little bit nervous about that. You gotta climb? Yeah, but it's, no, it's not climb, climb, climb. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a bun because I don't want that mud on my face or on my hair. Like, if you see my skin, it's pretty flowing. I don't want that on my skin. I don't need more stuff. I'm already good on my regimen. I'm crying. But yeah, I'm gonna put my bun when we get up there. I'll talk to you guys later. So you guys, we're in the Uber now. We ended up asking our Uber driver, Miguel, if he wait for us after, well, at the um, Mud Volcano place because we didn't know one, how reception was gonna be for us to order Uber. We didn't know the wait times, none of that. So he just gave us a set price. I'm sitting in the front because honestly, we couldn't do the pack thing in the back. Mm -mm. That's not, that's not it. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
pesito, mi amor. A 30 pesos. We made it to the volcano, you guys. This is it right here. We gotta pay for a ticket first. And then we're gonna go in. This is the ticket, you guys. Oh, are these the stairs that you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. You have to walk up these little steps to go up to the volcano. Yeah. Y'all, these are crazy. What? These are steep as shit. <sighs> oh, not this one. Oh, okay. Y'all, look at the view. washes down and the person was taking our pictures. I feel like those are the people who deserve exactly, the tips. Yeah. So you guys, we just left, by the way. Um, it was a great experience while we were in the mud, but after we left, like, we were bombarded with tips. We're on our way back. Um, the experience was great overall, I will say that. We probably might get some food on our way back. What would you like? Okay, okay, like we meet or only egg. Okay. Is it chicken? Only meat. Only meat. Uh, they have chicken, chicken, chicken empanada? empanada? I'll do a chicken empanada. Yeah. We have our empanadas. You got chicken and cheese or just chicken? Chicken and beef. Chicken and beef, Shabal. I got chicken. Um, that is a spice. Made it back to the hotel. Miguel was amazing. Thank you so much, Miguel. Thank you so, so, so much. Have a good one. Bye. 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 So my stomach, my stomach has been playing with me. I felt it for an hour. Just a few later. This is what I was telling y'all earlier about when I cut the little pieces of hair from my hair. Yeah, they look crazy. But we're on our way to go to McDonald's right now because we wanted to try it. Many of you guys know McDonald's is almost always different in every country. So you really want to try it and see if it just even tastes different. Even if the menu is the same. You guys, we made it to McDonald's. I'm sweating. I want to order it on the kiosk just because I don't know what to get. But the cafe. Sorry. Are you excited to try it, Cheryl? I am. I don't really like McDonald's in a state. So I'm excited to see like how this differs because i did hear that mcdonald's in different places they have more options i heard they're better so i'm gonna see the walk wasn't that bad um, it's just very humid like it wasn't too far but look at my sweat though <laughs> thank you 
Thank you. So you guys, I placed my order. Um, I ended up getting a piece of chicken, um, an onion crispy chicken sandwich, and some fries. I haven't even to try it, but yeah, we're just waiting for the order to come out. Shirelle and Maya, well, Shirelle is still ordering. Maya is paying for her order, and y'all can try it. You guys, the food is here, and Maya got her food too. What did you get? Wait, but why is it good though? That's really good. This sandwich is huge. Do y'all see how big the sandwich is? No, it's huge. I'm not finishing this. Why? Bro, this is actual chicken in a sandwich, bro. Mm. Like, look at this sandwich. This is the same size as my head. Two guys later. But the food is really good. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is the best McDonald's that I had. Especially with chicken. Best one. I finished eating my food, right? Why I'm looking at my plate, I'm like, what is this? They give you gloves to eat your fried chicken, bro. Gloves. I'm keeping it as a souvenir. What? Not only do they give you gloves, they have a whole little club. A whole, whole little, what is it called? Terrace? I do a patio. McDonald's, Columbia. Got it. Hey, he closed that door. He said, fuck the back door. <laughs> My home. We don't know how to pay. I think we need a metro card. She has a card. It's a pass. Be like, can we pay here? Girl, it's a whole turnstile. Do we pay here? How much? Three thousand. No. Rich <laughs> card. You need a card. No card. Okay. Card. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> they close that back door fast. Yo, when I say fast, they close that. Sh Fast, but we can't take the bus, y'all. That was mad funny. Hey guys, I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. It's a bit later. Got back to the hotel, I should say. Made some TikToks. Follow Shirelle on TikTok, because Shirelle has been really consistent with the TikToks. Um, but it's like a few later. It's like, I think 11.45. We're on our way out to this club called Delirium. Um, y'all, my cycle started, and I am so uncomfortable. I feel bloated, literally. I remember the skirt set. I literally took off the skirt because I just did not feel comfortable wearing a skirt and I just threw on these green pants from the first night. The outfit really don't go, but I literally had no other pants. I have a white pair of pants, but I'm not wearing white. This is gonna be our last night that we're gonna be able to really party for real. So I'm just trying to push it through because listen, I came out here. What? Why we can't party tonight? We can, but I'm just like, I mean, we definitely can. We definitely can party tomorrow. I don't know why I, why I said that, but like, yeah. Also, what's that call it? Not only do I have cramps, the oysters from a day or two ago are still attacking me. I am uncomfortable. Like, I am uncomfortable. <laughs> but nah, like, I really want to push it through and just like enjoy myself tonight and try to enjoy myself, I should say. But yeah. Ski, if you think me, you trying to say what's up.
Night was fun out till 2000 in the morning. We have an early morning, like, we're gonna be up in like four hours. So, it's literally three hours later, and we made it. We're rushing downstairs. Um, outfit is really, really nice. Uh, the ladies, I was really worried about them because. First off, I set my alarm for 6.45. And I did too. You know, typically, I'm going to get up when I set my alarm. But I need a 15-minute snooze. So I got up at 7 o'clock. And then I'm getting out the shower. Maya went back to bed sleeping. It's 7.17. And then Sherelle, well, Sherelle's in the bathroom. But I was like, wait. And my dress is when I thought it was 7.40. I'm like, are they going? Because I remember you said that, oh, well, I'm going to take this out. I said, baby, I can't take this out. Listen. I'm the type of person, I'll take an L and I'll just call my baby. I'm crying. I said, oh no. Hola. When I, if we run in late, I will dad go back upstairs and get me. No, thank you. I will go upstairs and get me something real quick to eat. Um, something I could take with me because I'm hungry. How do you feel though from last night? I feel good. Okay. Feel good. That's good. How do you feel from last night? She feels good. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I'll keep you guys updated as we ended up coming to get breakfast because we did not know when these people was coming. So we're gonna get some quick little rolls and stuff. You guys, this is literally the breakfast. <laughs> Don't mind orange croissants. Two for Shabam. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't like that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Better now. Better now. Love it. My name is Eric. Your guy for today. I'm so glad to share my day with you. I'm from Palenque. Today you're gonna learn about my customs, traditions, my heritage, my roots. Palenque from here is around 90 minutes, maybe less, depending on the traffic. Yeah? I have some advice or recommendations for the visit. First one, you can take photos, videos of the many different things that we have, like noodles, animals, animals, houses. But if you're gonna take photos of people, you need to ask for permission, something you know, except for me. I'm a lady. <laughs> Second, if in the street someone gets close to you and asks for money, don't give anything. Because for me it's a bad habit, that must be very okay. Yeah? Get tips and support the local business is okay. And the last one not the least, keep your things closed. Because if you leave your wallet, cell phone, course, in some place, somebody will take it. Yeah? Okay. Three, number two, we're going to visit the local school, the museum. Uh, the traditional dancing and musical school and many other surprises for you. Yeah? Now is your turn to introduce yourself. Bon appetit. <laughs> Our driver, Andres. So we made it onto the bus literally with like yes, minutes of I mean, they were running a bit behind, but luckily we got breakfast. But our hotel was like, yeah, I can't take the plate out. Right, so we have to go back upstairs. And my she took their napkin, and I'm crying. <laughs> back upstairs, that's a stuff my face. And But I got a yogurt in my bag, so yeah. I'll talk to you guys. Later. Yeah, but we're on a bus, the tour starting with everybody's from the United States. Um, a lot of people from New York, Georgia, Virginia, and stuff like that. So it should be a fun day, okay? We're in Quick stop to take a picture. Try to read this, please. The Palenque sign. That's the meaning of that. I love Palenque, but the real reading is Ya que le Palenque. It's in our language, right? You see Palenque with G, it's in our language with Q in Spanish. But the meaning is the same, okay? 45 community or world city. Have you seen the ladies with the colorful dress in the yeah, city? Yeah. Most of them are from here, oh. around 80%. Oh, wow. They play an important role in the economy of this community because they sell the different products that grow here, like tropical fruits, typical candies in the different cities to support their families, yeah? yeah. Uh, at the end, if you want a picture with these ladies, you contribute with small donation, yeah? But just to be clear, you can take pictures here with them or without them, okay? Give me a phone. We made a quick stop to take yeah, some pictures. 
at the um, Palenque sign and now we're going deeper into the city. Um, and yeah, let me see. Palenque, Palenque, Asenda, Asenda, Tierra, Tierra, I'm super happy. When I was looking up places to do for the itinerary and all that stuff, I came across Palenque. And I like to immerse the people's Oh no, that sounds like cultural appropriation. But I like to appreciate people's culture. I'm glad I'm here. Um, I love being black. Yeah. This is a traditional way that we cook called Trevinde. Consists in three large stones, like you see. And we cook with uh, firewood. Many people still prefer cooking in this way because they say give a better flavor to the food. And that's true. This is a kind of soup most of us are gonna try at the lunch called sancocho. Sancocho is a mixture between plantains, gems, potato, beef, vegetables, yuca, cassava. But for a special occasion, we mix uh, the meat like pork and chicken too. Okay. Feel free to take pictures for sure. This is a primary school. In this place, uh, children vaya, learn three different languages. English, Spanish, and Palenque language. Because for us, it's pretty important to try to keep up a language safe. What do you think is the meaning of this? Maybe you find a clue in the picture. I feel like it has something to do with spirits. Uh -huh, spirit of what? So it to mean free. Freedom. The free spirit of? Palenque, because on those days, when you got to the village, you were considered free, okay? Our flag with three different colors, black, blue, and green. Black, because we are extremely proud and happy for the blackness, our skin, okay? Blue, for the river. It's another important place here, because we call it water, it's a place to farm, to get a chain information, yeah? There are places for men and other for women and mixing places too. It's close to our Esquivari. And the green one for the land. Because we have a special connection in nature. Okay? And in the middle, our hero, our founder, Bencos Bioho. Don't forget that name. Bencos Bioho. Great. Any questions so far? <laughs> Not yet. Okay? Quadro is a crew, remember. Apu is water, numano brother, numana sister. Okay. If you're gonna say my brother, you say numano me. My sister, numana me. Great. Canatule, angry. Nu no. is no, great. These words are related. Escuela, etule, and piaja. Okay? Escuela, school, great. Teacher. Teacher is this one, Piazza. Students. Students, great. Ah! This mural, Black Lives Matter, was painted for this man. This man is another icon from this community because he took the traditional rhythms that we have here and mixed with hip hop. He created our own version of hip hop. Uh -huh. You're using traditional instruments. Uh -huh. he is, uh, his name is Afroneto. He's a multi talented guy. He's a songwriter, singer, drummer, dancer, movie actor, painter, and a model from this community. We're going to visit his home and going to explain more about it. Okay? He painted this eight years ago when this young guy was killed in Florida. You remember? Yeah. Trevor Trevor Martin. Martin. Trevor Martin. To support our brothers and sisters in Nosotros somos con miles de hacemos rap folclórico They create our own version of hip hop called Palenquero Folkloric Rap or RFP. Con miles de amigos fusiona los ritmos tradicionales de Palenque con el rey la lengua tradicional palenque. I mix the old rhythms with the new uh, in our language and that is hip hop. Si nosotros hemos tenido la oportunidad de hacer dos álbumes, el primero se llamó Así es Palenque. They travel around the world, narrando lo que es nuestra comunidad. Uh, visiting different countries and cities. This poster belongs to the first, first album of them called Así es Palenque, This is Palenque. And the second album in honor to our women, Esa Palenquera. Okay? Here they have a small school, and this is a school they try to teach other new generations the thing related with the Palenquero language, the meaning of the different air styles, uh, how to play drums, and stuff like that. Okay? This house has two important things to do. The first one is a challenge for you. You need to find a place to sign your name. For sure, 
Don't worry, I wrote my name in the wall 10 years ago and never find it again. <laughs> and the second one is a surprise. Before this, I'm gonna explain the different instruments that we have, like uh, they have a drum, the color, traditional battery, and the jog on piano. Try to complete the first channel, please. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Are you right left hand? Down your left. Okay, you're gonna start with your left hand. One. One, two, two. Y'all saw me play the, what was that playing? That was, those are drums? No. I was playing Maracas. the drums. Maracas. I you, think you were talking about the, the, no, no, the keyboard. The well, keyboard. yeah, the, I was playing the maracas, yeah, but I forgot the name there. of the keyboards as well. Yeah, I don't know what that I was playing the maracas initially, and we got some cold water. I don't know if we're just drinking right now, because remember he was like, oh, y'all will get water and a drink soon. Are we eating as well? Y'all is so beautiful out here. So beautiful. It reminds me so much of Mali. I was loving Mali, and sure I know how Mali is one of the hottest countries in the world. I, in fact, it's number two. It reminds me so much of Mali. Welcome to the peace of Africa outside Africa. This is the traditional dancing in musical school, Batata. Yeah. The first one is called Mapale. Mapale basically shows you the titans struggle of our ancestors to get the freedom. Uh, the last one is called uh, the female of Turkey. What you see in ancient times, uh, like a traditional game, to keep the people awake in the funeral ceremonies. But the new generation changed that and turned on the dancing in order to preserve
You guys, we just finished dancing and now we're back at the restaurant for lunch. I'm excited, all right? Chicken? Stew chicken, yes. That's yes. Mm. Mm. Yep. This is coconut rice. Mm. Wow, this is really good. You guys, we finished lunch. It was good. My chicken was so good. Shira, how was your meal? Well, she had the chicken as well. I didn't, I mean, I had fish. I didn't even care for the fish. Um, I wish I had that. Oh, that's your house. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the best food. All the food that we had was probably when we went to like local places. Because even the empanada, that empanada was so good. It was I, mad good. Bro. That empanada was so good. Our hotel has empanadas, but it was just too salty and I didn't like it. This was really good, and I'm really happy that we did this tour. We were this close to like sleeping in and be like, okay, are we not doing it? But glad we did it. Battery is dying. I'm gonna talk to you guys later when we get to the hotel. It's a few later. Let me sit down and talk to you guys. Um, I believe it's like 8:30, if I'm not mistaken. I am dressed and ready for our last night in Colombia. Um, we're going to El Arsenal. It's a rum and coffee tasting place. Um, basically, you try different rums. And, yeah. But we're doing that right now. We don't have reservations, so there is a possibility that we might not even be able to do it. Because on their website, it does say you need to make reservations 24 hours prior. And we didn't see that until, like, literally 20 minutes ago. I have on this little midi dress from Zara. It has a cute little slit and everything. I can't wait till I get home to take my braids out because once I cut the freaking boho out, yeah, I was tired of this hair. The only hair style I could really do is the ponytail. And the ponytail is not comfortable. Like, everything is being pulled up. I'm adding on to my traction alopecia. I can't even lay my head back. It's annoying, you know? But it is what it is. It's our last night in Colombia. We're going to live it up, okay? We'll have a fun night tonight. I'll talk to you guys later. Once you figure out, or once you get to El Arsenal, I'll let you know if they let us in or not. So, yeah. Hi, como estas? Um, rum tasting. Okay. Uh, no, no reservation. Ah, okay. Can we do it or no? Pues bueno, los servicios de rum tasting son desde las 2 hasta las 10 de la noche. So you guys, unfortunately, we weren't able to go and do the rum tasting. They said that we can go in and taste the rums, but we wouldn't get the full experience because the last tasting was at 8 p.m. and it's 9 p.m. right now. So, yeah, and we leave tomorrow, so we won't be able to do it. Um, but yeah. We stumbled across this municipal kitchen bar and terrace so we're gonna go see what this is about it looks like it's like a little outdoor area it kind of gives like central park vibes or little island vibes for real really nice really cute so we're gonna see what they got oh i think it's probably like multiple vendors because this is sushi they have pizza burgers sushi tacos I don't know what else. So you guys, apparently it's all one restaurant, but like the aesthetic of the restaurant is basically the food truck vibe. And I think it's super duper cool. Like we're by the water. We literally stumbled across this. It's called Terrasa Municipal. Um, and they have pizza, sushi, tacos. And I feel like this is gonna be really, really good. I got a coconut lemonade and my one taco is here. Maya also got a taco as well. And Shiba, that's a pina colada, right? Both pina coladas. I got the coconut lemonade because Shiba put me on something, y'all. That's good. She knows coconut lemonade is so good. Tacos are good. Y'all, yeah, one thing I will say, Colombians know what to do. The gloves for the chicken, this is the second time. Maya got her chicken sandwich. That looks really, really good, by the way. This chicken looks super duper crispy. I ordered a pizza. It's on the face it's in there right now. But gloves for chicken, even at the McDonald's, unmatched. So I got the sourdough and garlic shrimp. It smells divine, by the way. Maya also got a spicy salmon roll. It looks good as well. And my food is still yet to come. It's just, they, everybody got their meals. Gracias. Oh, I'm gonna try my pizza, and also I got a chance to try Chevelle's shrimp, and it's literally amazing. But my pizza's here, and I put a piece of shrimp on top because I'm like I kind of want it. Mmm. 
Mmm. That's amazing. Mmm. Wow, this is actually really good. Do you guys want some? Maybe I got their oatmeals. Like, they are gonna be full. And she always like, this I is single. I ain't touching it. <laughs> Mike got a whole burger. Municipal was a beautiful place. I'm so happy that we stumbled upon it because, y'all, never heard about it or anything like that. And we were watching a lot of TikToks prior to coming to Columbia to see, like, you know, where we should go. And that was just such a beautiful spot. I feel like it's mainly for, like, not necessarily locals, but, like, if you're from New York, you guys know Little Island. It was like another little island, in my opinion. It was just so beautiful. We were right by the water. The food was amazing. Like, you would think a restaurant that's literally dabbling in every cuisine would, like, you know, miss the ball at some point. No, everyone enjoyed their food. Literally, my pizza was really, really good. Like, I'm a pizza girl, don't get me wrong, but, like, my pizza was really, really good. I loved it everything about it i will not lie the tacos like weren't the best tacos that i've ever had because i've had better tacos they weren't bad i gave them like a 7.5 out of 10. currently at breakfast by the way after they finished eating we just sat around by the water talked a bit literally at our table we were just talking for like probably like an hour before we decided to get up and go back to the hotel because we did have um to go boxes and we didn't want to bring that into the club by the time i got to the hotel y'all I was just so tired. I had a headache and everything. You guys knew I was operating on three hours of sleep, like running on three hours of sleep. And my head was just pounding. Like I wanted to go to sleep. I'm like, yeah, I cannot go out tonight. Um, even though it was that last night, I could not go out. So the girls went out without me. I was literally asleep. And I'm so happy that I did that because I feel so refreshed right now. I woke up um, at 6.45. I started packing because I didn't pack last night. Well, I did pack halfway but I finished all my packing right now. And now I'm at breakfast, the girls just woke up. Um, we are supposed to go to a cafe, but I don't know what time we supposed to do that. Listen, I'm hungry now. I don't know what time we're supposed to leave the room. Our flight today is at 2.45, so um, we should be at the airport at like 11.50 noon-ish because we don't know how custom is immigration is from Colombia. I didn't go out last night, but the girls ended up saying like it wasn't even all lack. Like literally it was whack. It was a Monday night, so I kind of like anticipated that like, I didn't think it was gonna be something so spectacular. Even now, like the people that are at breakfast now compared to over the weekend have completely shifted. There's more people here on business, um, flight attendants and stuff like that. It's not the same people. So I kind of figured that Monday night wasn't really gonna be nothing too crazy, you know? I enjoyed my time in Colombia. We loved it, in fact. Like, Cartagena is such a beautiful city. The food was amazing. I love how affordable everything was here. I'm gonna eat my food. I'll talk to you guys later on, keep you guys updated. But for right now, I really don't have much to say. It's our last day, right there now. Definitely will come back to Colombia. Like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time here, for sure. Um, and yeah, we're on our way to an umbrella street. Um, I think it's Calle Cal 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 I'll put the name on the screen. And then um, after that, we're gonna go to a cafe and try some coffee and stuff like that. But it's like 10, 15 or 10, 10 right now, or something like that. So we're not running late or anything like that. We have like an hour and 45 before we actually have to be at the airport. It's so, oh, turn it to okay. So that's good. So we have time, but I'll talk to you guys later once we get to um, it's Gethsemane, right? Gethsemane. 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 We're going to Gethsemane. Senor, yeah. como se dice Gethsemane? Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Yeah. Gethsemane. Hex Hexemane. Hexemane. Oh, We're going to Hexemane. We're going to Hex. Yeah. Okay. We're going to Hexemane. Sorry, y'all. Um, that's the area that we're going to. Miss Bilingual. She swears she's Paquito. Like, because I am. Are you mad? Paquito. I'm way more Paquito than you. <laughs> I very much so am. You couldn't even say, get semi, me, heck me. You couldn't say it either, huh? That's why I had to ask Buki, como se dice? Yeah. Shut up. That? What do you know about, that's you know about that. <laughs> Anyways. We made it to the street with the umbrella. This is the name of it. And the street is so pretty, like literally Gethsemane. Wait, no, no, say, say look, why are y'all fighting? I'm sick of this. It's just like these baggers come on head. Vito, your phone, cool, yo. I'm gonna give this for Aisha, because she always like me. I, I have no way to put my money. I'm gonna give this for her. 10,000. 10,000? These are the seniors that I'm going to do. Like, this is not pretty. This looks so nice. Can you put your me in front of this? Yeah. The, it, with angels? That's cute. 
What's this? It's Wall City. Oh, we're in the Wall City? Oh, I didn't know that. Y'all yeah, wanna go with there to see the view? We made it to Epoca, you guys. We had to walk because this is the traffic was so insane. I mean, we drove, but we walked like two blocks because the traffic just was not moving. And then, yeah, we're here. It's actually a very beautiful restaurant. We had to walk up like a little spiral staircase. That, I was so scared I was gonna fall, but it's the end. Macchiato is here. I'm gonna try it. It's very small. Please don't let this wide angle fool you. It's very small. Yeah, very small, <laughs> okay? Don't let it fool you. We're taking our food to go because we're still running really late. Not late, but like it's 11, 17. Check out, I was at 12. We still gotta go to the hotel, get the stuff, and then go to the airport, so. The food is ready, we're gonna take it to go. But we're having our drinks here in the meantime. It is very strong. Where's the sugar? But you guys, the food is here. Literally, mine's putting her um, drink to go and I'm getting my coconut lemonade that I ordered to go as well. And then we're gonna go. Lemonade de coco. Okay, lemonade de coco to go go. <laughs> <laughs> to go go went crazy. The food is really good. I think which is actually really good. I got mine with no bacon. That's how it looks. And it comes to a fries. It's from the brunch menu. And I also got a banana bread. That's really good though. You guys, we're en route to the airport. We're about to leave. Colombia was amazing. Literally amazing. I think you get my um, lemonade de coco from Ipoca. And yeah, Columbia will be missed. Definitely will have to return. Love this.